the winds and the rain have been a bit sporadic. They actually just picked up just this second. They've been dying down, then getting stronger, dying down, getting stronger. We're here on Highway 90, and behind me you can see Biloxi Beach. That overpass there is the 110 overpass, and down below is uh, the the Gulf. You can see those white caps crashing up against that concrete. They were a bit stronger a moment ago. Like I said, it's been very sporadic out here. Now it's been a bit of a ghost town out here, and that's a good thing because officials say people are taking heed to the warnings that they sent out. But for those folks in those low lying areas and those flood prone areas, officials say by now you could be on your own. No responders will be out making any response calls after the winds get to 60 miles an hour. Harrison County Emergency Management Director Rupert Lacey says the people in his county have done a good job at responding to the warnings they've been given. He says over 500 people have moved into their five shelters and out of harm's way. All our shelters are built in non-flood prone areas and they are all hardened buildings that could stand up to a, or the wind rated to stand up to a category five type storm. Those who aren't directly in harm's way still took time to make preparations, like these people making sandbags and this man who filled 60 gallons of gas for his generator. Better safe than sorry. And stockpiling gas isn't all he did. Do boarding up windows and getting fuel and ice and just playing safe. It's part of life, you know. When you live down on Gulf Coast, you got to expect that. You know, you're gonna kind of hot summers and summers full of hurricane, and we've been blessed not to have any in years. Many coastal residents are saying that Hurricane Katrina left such an impression that they're not taking any chances with any more storms. I took it as a joke. Just like all the other ones, until it actually hit. And it was real serious when it did hit. So, we're gonna be prepared this time. And that curfew here in Harrison County lasts until 9 a.m. in the morning, and that's when officials will be out assessing any damage that takes place here overnight. We'll be make, making sure that we keep an eye on it. Stay with us via social media. We're here on Biloxi Beach, and right behind me, you can see this massive boat has washed, washed ashore. It is the biggest sign we've seen so far that Hurricane Nate was here. We're right here on Highway 90 here on Biloxi. Luxy Beach and we're between the Hard Rock Cafe and between the Golden Nugget Casinos. We've been seeing images of flooding in their parking garages from over the night, but all that water has receded now. Um, take a look at the video that we shot last night. Around midnight is when we started to see the streets flood here along Highway 90. It was just a swimming pool. Those waters have now receded and now there's only mud and debris left, but back here on the uh, the beach here. This boat is just the biggest evidence that we've seen so far that Hurricane Nate made his way through. Now we're still feeling some strong winds. We've been feeling them feeling them throughout the morning here, but we'll continue to drive around and see what we can find when that sun rises. We'll see what other damage was left behind, and we'll also have updates from MEMA and from the Jackson County, Harrison County, and uh, Hancock County uh, Emergency Management Directors. I know we have a crew right now heading down to Jackson County. County, so we'll have more later on in the morning. Yes, here on Highway 90 in Biloxi, there's a lot more sand near the streets than there usually is. That's because Hurricane Nate's over 70 mile per hour winds brought the beach up onto the streets. Now, MEMA directors say even though this hurricane wasn't that bad and did not cause that much damage, we did not dodge a bullet here on the coast. MDOT crews got to work first thing Sunday morning clearing sand and debris from Highway 90. The storm surge that started around midnight was strong enough to leave a gazebo tilted on Biloxi Beach and to float a boat onto the shore. MEMA says Hurricane Nate brought between 8 and 10 feet of water on the coast, flooding the lowest level of parking garages at the Golden Nugget Casino and Hard Rock Hotel. We're only about 5 foot above sea level right here, so the whole casino is 27 foot above sea level. But to our east right here is Biloxi Bay. When that water came up, it flowed this way. Thank you, God. I was worried about all that stuff. A little further east in Ocean Springs, this man is happy to see the home he's building was fine. But yards away, parts of the marina was broken into pieces and a dumpster floated to the middle of a field. So what makes you all keep building right here? 
Uh, good question. <laughs> well, you know, I'm 75, so I figured in my lifetime we'd never see another Katrina. If Nate would have hit us 15 years ago, the damage would have been much more uh, extensive. We would have had loss of life. But we have rebuilt the coast in the aftermath of Katrina higher and stronger. Now, MEMA officials say it'll take a few more days to assess all of the damage along the coast. FEMA has already approved assistance for this area, but the damage threshold must first meet $4.5 million. Here in Harrison County, Candace Coleman, WJTV 12.